Leviticus 1 verses 4 to 5 And he shall lay his hand on the head of the burnt offering, and it shall be accepted for him, to make expiation for him. And he shall slaughter the young bull before Jehovah, and Aaron's sons the priests shall present the blood and sprinkle the blood on and around the altar that is at the entrance of the tent of meeting. The offerer was not only to bring the offering but also to lay his hand on the offering. In the scripture, the laying on of hands always signifies identification, union, it does not signify substitution. To lay our hand on the offering means that we are one with the offering and take the offering as being one with us. Hence, the laying on of hands makes the two parties one. Laying our hands on Christ as the burnt offering is not just a matter of identification, it is also a matter of expiation or propitiation. Propitiation means that our problems with God and God's problems with us are taken care of. Laying our hands on Christ not only makes us one with Him but also takes care of our problems, propitiating our situation with God and enabling us to have peace with God. Therefore, the laying of our hands on the burnt offering is for propitiation. The slaughtering of the offering was for the shedding of blood for forgiveness. The sprinkling of the blood around the altar was for the acceptance by God of the offering burned on the altar. Verse 6 tells us that the offering was to be skinned and cut into pieces. As our burnt offering, Christ passed through this kind of mistreatment. He was skinned and he was cut into pieces. To skin the offering is to strip it of its outward expression. This skinning of the burnt offering signifies Christ's being willing to let the outward expression of his virtues be stripped. The cutting of the offering into pieces signifies Christ's being willing to let his entire being be broken without any reservation as our burnt offering. The thought that we may enjoy Christ as the offerings is hidden in the book of Leviticus. For example, we may enjoy Christ as the burnt offering. We cannot be absolute for God, but Christ as the burnt offering is absolute for him. Therefore, we should take Christ as the burnt offering and enjoy him as the burnt offering. To have this experience and enjoyment of Christ we need to pray, saying, Lord Jesus, you are a wonderful person. You are the consummated spirit with me all the time, and you are with me to be my burnt offering. Lord, I cannot satisfy God, but you can satisfy him. I cannot be absolute for God, but you have always been and still are absolute for him. Now, Lord Jesus, I take you as my burnt offering. By praying like this we will enjoy Christ as our burnt offering. Praise the Lord.